Okay, so we have to make a special tool uh, to get the clutch spring off. Uh, there's a diaphragm spring, and then there's a little snap ring that's holding it on there. And Motion Pro and Jim's and everybody else sell special tool. Well, I'm a big fan of Motion Pro. I'm also a big fan of saving money. So, what I'm going to do is I have a 3-inch PVC cap here. I picked up a local hardware store. This was like $3, or with inflation, by the time you see it, it'll be $8. Um, so I'm going to cut the top of this off. Whoosh, and uh, then I'm going to take a piece of flat stock, drill hole in it, and I can take that little hole and I'll demonstrate over there on the bike. It'll work just like the tool, I promise you. And you'll be able to get the snap ring pliers in there to get the snap ring out. So, uh, if you had a piece of 3 inch PVC pipe that you could cut off, that would work as well. I didn't, and I wasn't buying a 6 foot stick of it. So, 3 inch cap. I'm gonna cut the top of it off in the vise. Let's take a look. Alright, so I'm cutting this off with a cutoff wheel right here. I could use a hacksaw, but it wouldn't throw cool sparks. So, wear safety glasses. Don't burn your garage down. See how much cooler that looked? Now, drill a hole in the center of it. Use a mechanical center punch to get a little dimple there. So your drill bit doesn't walk all over the place. Eye protection again. Don't touch it, it's probably hot. Remember, when you're using a file, they only work in one direction. You don't want to do this. It's not a nail file. If you do that, you'll build up a bunch of metal chips inside here and dull it out, and then your file will be worthless. So you have this little hex spring nut, whatever we're going to call it, nut that the spring goes over top of. This was part of your clutch. It's the same thread as this shaft right here. So we're going to use that as like our jack bolt. Our goal here is we're trying to take off this outer snap ring. We're going to have to push this uh, pressure plate in and take this snap ring and flick it up. Take your now shortened PVC disc. Take your little metal spanner there. Take this nut. Thread it up on there. Should thread on nice and easy. I'm actually holding the nut on the back, or the screw on the back side of my finger. Keep it from turning. We're just gonna tighten it up until it all seats into place there. Take our flathead screwdriver in there. Take our three quarter inch wrench and tighten it up. This won't take a lot of force. I'm just trying to compress that spring in there as if you were pulling in the clutch. You probably can't tell from the camera angle, but I can actually see the spring pushing in a little bit. So I know I'm sitting in pretty good shape there. So then there's a little ring inside there. Push that back so you have a little bit of clearance with the snap ring. And flick the snap ring up. There we go. Now you can just walk this snap ring out. There are some special Eaton style snap ring pliers for this, but honestly, you can just walk this out with a flathead screwdriver. Have a little patience with it. Remember, this is a no special tools thing. So, there's another little ring right here behind this. So we're going to stop right here, and I'm gonna take a picture with my phone. Boop. That way I remember which way it goes back in. Now, I do have a shop manual for this, but still, you can never, ever be too careful. Now that that's, this snap ring is off of there, you can hold the screw with your screwdriver again. Take your three-quarter inch wrench, hold the nut, or back the nut off, or turn the screw in. Whichever one works better for you and your brain. All of a sudden, it'll get really loose. There we go. Set that stuff off to the side. Take your PVC ring off of there. Take 
thread this nut off, take your shaft, set it off to the side. Take your snap ring, set it off to the side. Take this spacer ring thingamajigger here, whatever it's called. Ooh, this, the pressure plate kind of locked onto it. We're going to be very careful with this. Okay, that was a legit surprise. Okay, so what happened was... I'm going to have to deburr that now. So this ring here was still caught in the groove a little bit, and it was still loaded up by the pressure plate spring. So, don't do that. 